Hello folks, Prasad Domala here. In this video, I'll show you how to install and configure um, Unified CloudWatch uh, Logs Agent on uh, AWS. So let's get started. Prior to this uh, Unified Logs Agent, we had two uh, separate agents, one to collect uh, detailed metrics like memory and uh, other to ship logs to uh, CloudWatch. So AWS uh, recently released this uh, Unified uh, CloudWatch Agent, which does uh, both the jobs. So using this unified CloudWatch uh, agent, we can collect system level uh, metrics from EC2 instances like CPU, disk, memory, network, process, swap, and so on. I'm not going into details of what metrics can be collected using this agent. I'll concentrate on uh, installing and uh, configuring it. We can also use this agent to collect system level metrics from on-premise uh, servers, and it supports both Windows and Linux operating systems. And uh, as far as distributions and versions are concerned, the agent is supported on uh, Amazon Linux, Ubuntu 16.04 and 14.04, uh, CentOS 7 and uh, 6.5, RHEL 7, 7.4 and uh, 6.5, Debian 8, and all 64-bit uh, versions of uh, Windows Server 2016, 2012, and uh, 2008. Coming to the process of installing and configuring uh, CloudWatch agent, these are the steps we need to perform. First, we need to uh, create an IAM role allowing permissions to collect metrics from uh, EC2 instances and uh, integrate them with uh, Systems Manager and uh, CloudWatch logs. Next, we need to attach this role to our EC2 instances. For on-premise servers, we can create an IAM user and assign this role. And you can use the access keys for this uh, IAM user to configure the agent. Next, we need to download and install the agent package we can do it either using Systems Manager or manually installing it on uh, EC2 instances. I'll show you both uh, methods in this uh, video. Next, we need to configure our uh, agent. We can create configuration on the first server and uh, store it on SSM parameter store. And this configuration can be used on uh, subsequent uh, servers. Finally, we'll start the agent either using SSM or uh, command line. Again, I'll show you both the methods in this uh, video. First, let's uh, start with creating IAM role required for our uh, CloudWatch agent. So I am on my uh, IAM console here. So first let's have a look at the policies. By default, AWS uh, gives us two policies for our uh, CloudWatch agent. Let's search for uh, CloudWatch agent. And here uh, we have admin policy and uh, server policy. So the server policy will have permissions to write logs to CloudWatch uh, log streams, you know, describe uh, EC2 instances and um, get SSM parameters. Coming to the admin policy, it will have one additional uh, permission which will uh, allow write operation on SSM parameter store. So let's have a quick look at these uh, policies. So if you go to server policy, you can see that it has permissions to CloudWatch, EC2 describe tags, and then logs. And uh, we'll have SSM get parameter permission on this uh, particular uh, parameters with prefix uh, Amazon CloudWatch. And if you have a look at the admin policy, we'll have one additional uh, action, which is uh, put parameter on the same uh, Amazon CloudWatch uh, prefixed uh, parameters. Typically, this admin policy is used on first machine where we install and configure our uh, CloudWatch agent. And during that process, we'll store the configuration in SSM for which we need this uh, put parameter uh, permission. On subsequent uh, instances, we just need uh, read access to retrieve this configuration and uh, install the agent. So let's create a role using these uh, policies. So I'll go to roles here and then create role. And this role will be for our EC2 instances. So I'll just select EC2 and then EC2 again, and then go to permissions. So let's search for uh, CloudWatch agents. And then I'll select admin policy as I'll be installing my uh, CloudWatch agent on my first machine. So I want to store my configuration in SSM. So I'll go with admin policy then review. I'll call this policy as uh, CW agent policy or CW agent role and then create role. Apart from this uh, CloudWatch admin uh, policy, uh, if we want to install our agent using SSM, we need uh, EC2 role for SSM policy as well. So let's attach another policy, search for uh, EC2 role for SSM 
So select that and then attach policy. If you're planning to use only command line to install and configure your uh, CloudWatch agent, we don't need this uh, EC2 for uh, SSM role. Now let's assign this uh, role to our EC2 instances. So I have two EC2 instances here. So I'll assign this role, go to actions, settings, and then attach replace uh, IAM role. So I'll select my uh, CW agent role here and then apply. I'll do the same for my second instance as well. Okay, now we have uh, the roles assigned to uh, both our uh, EC2 instances. Now let's install our uh, CloudWatch uh, agent. And as I said, this can be done either using SSM or uh, command line. First, let's use SSM to install our uh, agent. Before that, make sure SSM agent is installed on our uh, EC2 instances and is visible under uh, managed instances. So if you scroll down to uh, systems manager and then managed instances, we should be able to see both our uh, instances uh, registered with uh, SSM. So let's click on uh, run command here. And for uh, command document, we'll be uh, selecting AWS configure AWS uh, package. And then I'll select uh, my uh, web 01. I'll be installing the agent on web 02 using uh, command line. So for SSM, I'll just select web 01. And then the action will be uh, install. And the name would be Amazon uh, CloudWatch agent and I'll leave the version as uh, latest and then click on run. You can view the command uh, status here by clicking on this uh, command ID. As you can see, it's already uh, successful. So you can go to output tab here and uh, we can view the output and uh, we should be able to see a message saying successfully installed uh, Amazon CloudWatch agent and then the version number. Now let's do the installation using command line on our uh, second instance. So here I'm logged into my uh, second uh, EC2 instance, that is uh, Web02. Let's first download the agent using this uh, URL. You can find the URL and all the commands I used in this video on my uh, blog. I'll leave the link in the description. I'm using wget here to download the agent. Okay, the agent is uh, downloaded now. Let me unzip it. And then we can install the agent by running uh, install.sh script, that is uh, dot slash install.sh. And this will install our uh, agent. Now we have our agent uh, installed on both the instances using SSM and uh, command line. Next, we need to create a configuration file. And this config file can be creating using a wizard installed by default with our uh, agent. And this wizard basically asks a series of uh, questions and creates a config file based on our uh, responses. So our agent will be installed under uh, OPT, AWS, and then uh, Amazon CloudWatch agent. So let's navigate there. And then let's navigate to uh, bin. Here we have a script called as uh, Amazon CloudWatch agent config wizard. Let's execute this wizard using dot slash. So first we need to select our operating system. So we are uh, running on Linux, so I'll just select one. And we need to specify whether we are using uh, EC2 or on-premises. So we are using EC2, so I'll select the default choice. And then we need to specify uh, if we want to monitor uh, any host metrics. So I'll say yes, which is the default value. And we need to specify if we want to monitor uh, CPU metrics per core and uh, additional uh, CloudWatch charges may apply if we say yes here. So I'll select uh, the default option one, which is yes. And then we need to specify whether we want to add EC2 dimensions, that is image ID, instance ID, and so on. I'll go with the default value, which is yes. Next, we need to specify the frequency of uh, metric collection. For this demo, I'll just say, for example, say 30 seconds, which is option three. Next is the metric category. We have uh, three categories here basic, standard, and uh, advanced for each operating system. So for basic, we just get memory and swap uh, metrics. And for standard, we get additionally uh, CPU and disk metrics. And for advanced, we'll get uh, disk IO and uh, netstat metrics. And uh, similarly for Windows, we get memory and paging for basic, and then processor, physical disk, and uh, logical disk for standard, and additionally uh, TCP metrics uh, for advanced. So for this demo, I'll just go with uh, say standard, 
So I'll just select uh, option two here. And this is the preview of the JSON uh, file it creates. So you can verify it and uh, say yes to create it. So I'll just select the first option. Next, it will ask if we have any existing CloudWatch uh, logs agent, which you want to migrate to the new uh, unified agent. So if you're using old logs agent uh, to ship logs to uh, CloudWatch, this wizard can uh, migrate that configuration to the new uh, agent. On this instance, I don't have any existing agent, so I'll just say no here. So if you say yes, the wizard will ask you uh, the location of the existing config file and uh, migrates it. So I'll select option two. Next, the wizard will ask you if you want to monitor any uh, log files. So I'll say yes here. And then we need to specify the log file path. For this demo, I'll just give var log uh, messages, which is uh, our system log or syslog. And we need to provide a group name. I'll just call it as my syslog. You can provide any name here. And then it will ask you if you want to specify any uh, additional log files to monitor. But for this demo, I'll just say no. Now the config file is created and it is located at uh, opt AWS Amazon uh, CloudWatch agent and then uh, slash bin slash config dot JSON. We'll be using this config file while starting the agent. We can use the local file to start it, but if you have a bunch of servers, we need to copy this config file to each server and execute the start command. And if you want to change something in the configuration, we need to update on all our instances. So the better way to do is to store the config file in SSM parameter store centrally and uh, use it to start the agent on all our uh, servers. So when we make any changes to the config on SSM and restart the agent, the config will be applied on all uh, agents. So the wizard will ask you if you want to store the config file in SSM parameter store. I'll say yes here, it is option one. And we need to provide a name for your uh, parameter. Make sure it starts with Amazon CloudWatch as the IAM role we created will allow to create parameters with this uh, particular uh, prefix. I'll leave the default name, which is Amazon uh, CloudWatch hyphen Linux and then enter. And then my region is uh, AP Southeast 2. Next, we need to uh, specify the credentials. So for this CC2 instance, we have assigned the instance role. So we are getting these uh, credentials from the IAM role. So I'll select the first option. So the wizard execution is now uh, complete. So let's uh, go back to our SSM parameter store and check the configuration there. So if we go to parameter store and we have our Amazon CloudWatch hyphen Linux uh, parameter created. And if we check the value, it is nothing but our uh, config file. Now we can use this parameter to start our CloudWatch agent on any of the EC2 instances. So let's start our uh, agent on the first instance using uh, SSM. So let's uh, go to uh, run command again and then click on run command. And now we'll select Amazon uh, CloudWatch manage agent as our uh, command document. And then let's select our instance. I'll select uh, web01. And then now the action would be configure. And then the mode is EC2 because we are using EC2 instances. And then uh, we need to specify the SSM parameter name which is uh, Amazon CloudWatch hyphen Linux. Make sure the name is uh, correct. And then we can optionally restart our agent. So I'll just select yes here and then click on run. You can check the status of the command. It's already successful. So let's log into our uh, instance and check the status. So I'm logged in here to my uh, web01. So we can check the status using uh, service Amazon CloudWatch agent status. So we can see it's active and uh, running. So that is how we can start the agent using SSM. Now let's log into our second instance and start the agent using uh, command line. So I'm logging into my uh, second EC2 instance, which is web02. So let's go to our uh, installation directory, which is uh, opt AWS and then uh, Amazon uh, CloudWatch agent. And then let's navigate to bin. And here we'll have a command called as Amazon CloudWatch agent uh, hyphen CTL. 
So we'll use this command to start our uh, agent using uh, command line. We can see the options for this command using uh, hyphen help. So I'll just say Amazon CloudWatch agent uh, hyphen CTL and then uh, hyphen hyphen help. So we need to provide hyphen A, which is nothing but action. And then we need to provide a mode, which will be easy to in our case. We can use hyphen C option to specify the configuration. We'll be using SSM and then our uh, parameter store name. And then hyphen S is to uh, restart the agent. So let's run the command using dot slash and then the command name Amazon CloudWatch agent hyphen CTL and then hyphen A fetch config because we need to fetch the configuration from SSM and configure it. So I'll say fetch config and then hyphen M the mode would be uh, EC2 and then uh, hyphen C the configuration that would be uh, SSM colon our parameter name which is Amazon CloudWatch hyphen Linux and then hyphen S for uh, restart. So this will fetch the configuration from SSM parameter store and then configure our uh, agent and uh, restarts it. So we can check the status using uh, service Amazon uh, CloudWatch agent uh, status. So we see it's active and uh, running. So that is how we can start the agent using uh, SSM and uh, command line. Now let's have a look at our uh, CloudWatch console. First, let's go to logs and we should be able to see our uh, log group, which is my syslog. So if you go into my syslog, we should be able to see the instances. So these are my uh, old instances. So we see our two uh, new instances here. And if you drill down into the instances, we can see our uh, syslog. Next, if we go to our metrics, we can see CW agent, which is nothing but uh, CloudWatch agent under custom metrics. And then if you go into uh, CloudWatch agent, we can see uh, different uh, metrics here. Let's go to say, for example, CPU, and we can see the metrics for both uh, Web01 and uh, Web02. And we can visualize the data as uh, required. So that is the process of installing and uh, configuring unified CloudWatch agent using SSM and uh, command line. I hope you found the video useful. So if you did, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel for more videos on uh, AWS. Have a good day and uh, see you in the next one.